The objective of this lesson is to evaluate numerical expressions with exponents using decimal and fraction bases. Exponential form is a more efficient way to represent repeated multiplication. An exponent is a number that identifies the power to which the base is being raised. The base is the number that is raised to a power. For example, in 10 to the fourth power, 10 is the base and 4 is the exponent. Power is the product obtained by raising a base to an exponent. Let's look at the following problem. Brandon's mom cut a large watermelon in half. Then she cut each half piece in half. Realizing the pieces were still too large, she cut each of those pieces in half. What fraction of the watermelon is each piece? We start with one whole watermelon and divide it in half. Cutting each of those pieces is represented by one half of one half. The third cut represents one half of one half of one half. One half of one half is one fourth. One half of one fourth is one eighth. Each piece is one eighth of the whole. We can write the expression exponentially as one times one half raised to the power of three. Let's look at another problem. Tamara's mom made a pan of brownies. She placed three-fourths of the brownies on a plate to take to the neighbors. While visiting with the neighbor, the children ate three-fourths of the brownies that were on the plate. How much of the original pan of brownies did the children eat? The multiplication expression is three-fourths times three-fourths, or three-fourths raised to the power of two. Using parentheses around the fraction implies that the entire fraction is being raised to a power. Without the parentheses, only the numerator is being raised. 3 fourths to the power of 2 equals 9 sixteenths. The children ate 9 sixteenths of the pan of brownies. Let's show the difference between 3 fourths raised to the power of 2 and 3 raised to the power of 2 with the fraction bar 4. Let's solve the two expressions. With the parentheses around the fraction 3 fourths and the exponent of 2, we know that we are multiplying the base of 3 fourths two times. We know that 3 fourths times 3 fourths is 9 sixteenths. Without the parentheses around the fraction, the 3 would be multiplied two times on top of the fraction for 9, and the denominator would stay the same, which is 4. The answer would be 9 fourths. 9 fourths does not equal 9 sixteenths. That is why it is a good reason to place parentheses around the fractions when multiplying exponents. Exponents can also be used with decimal bases. Let's evaluate the expression 2 tenths raised to the power of 3. The exponent of 3 means that the base of 2 tenths is multiplied by 1 3 times. 2 tenths times 2 tenths times 2 tenths equals 8 thousandths. In fifth grade, the following chart was used to help understand when multiplying decimals. This helps give understanding to the place value when multiplying by a number or fraction smaller than one. The objective for this lesson was to evaluate numerical expressions with exponents using decimal and fraction bases. We met this objective by using exponential notation to represent problems and then evaluating the expressions with multiplication by using a place value chart.